Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here. Today I'm bringing you a squad builder, something I haven't done in weeks. But anyway, I think it's roughly around 400-500k, but because it's right before team of the season, these players will probably plummet quite a lot, so it's going to be hard to judge the price. But as of now, it's around 400-500k. So, in net, we're going to go with Leno, a very, very good, solid goalkeeper, as I'm sure you are aware. He, I bought him for 3k. I can imagine he's probably even cheaper now. I could be wrong, but well, no, he's literally around 3k, so <clears throat> a very good price for a very solid goalkeeper. First centre back is going to be Jerome Boateng, one of my favourite centre backs on the game. Um, this one's packed. Uh, the other one that I had, I sold because I bought him. Um, obviously, I'm going to replace him when I do pack him, though. And uh, I've only played 10 games with this pack pulled one, but he's unbelievably cheap for, for an 87 rated player well center back with those kind of stats 25k is an absolute bargain on the right we're gonna go to the bpl and we're gonna use the most overpowered player in the premier league uh, well in terms of fifa and center backs he is the best in the premier league and that's Otamendi purely because of his stats unbelievable and yet again just stupidly cheap and these will get even cheaper during team of the season 6k for him now on the right a player that i never really look at i always overlook him and that's purely because of the pace, but then I thought to myself, centre-backs, I'm happy when a centre-back has over 70 pace, so why not try it with a full-back, because Zabaleta has incredible defending and physical stats, 1k as well, 73 pace, which as I say, isn't bad for a centre-back, and to be honest, full-backs, at least one of them, you're going to want to stay back, so I think it's good that he's got limited pace, I mean his work rates are high high so it might counterbalance it but I thought I'd give him a go because I always overlook him just because he's got a lack of pace like someone like Walker has 90 and he only has 73 but anyway on the left we go with David, uh, Alaba's original card not his position change CDM although I do want to try that and I might soon um, in a squad builder again he, he's stupidly cheap for the stats 34k for the highest rated normal left back in the game that's crazy now with centre-backs, we go to our third league. This is a three-league hybrid. We've got Tony Cruz, less than 10k for an 87-rated player. It's just ludicrous. 88 passing for a centre-midfielder is brilliant. And he's, he's literally just under 9k now. Absolutely crazy prices. Then we go with Bastian Schweinsteiger in there. Uh, his card doesn't have the greatest stats, but it's got 84 pace uh, passing. And although I'm a Man United fan, you might think I'm being biased, but if you have tried Schweinsteiger, he's actually quite strong in the game. And even though he's got 79 shooting, he seems very, very good at shooting. And coupled with the strength, he's just brilliant. Like, for 4 5k, you can't go wrong. The last centre midfield option, we've got Yaya Toure, who is just stupidly cheap. A well-rounded card. Everyone knows how good this card is. He's been fantastic on FIFA for God knows how long uh, throughout the years. And yeah, 24, 23k maybe for uh, like an all-rounded centre midfielder. Just a bargain, really. And then with a the cam, I've gone with a player that I'd never really use. And uh, I'm glad I did, actually, because I always overlook him again, purely because he's only got three-star skills. Aaron Ramsey, he doesn't have the best card, only one stat in the AD, and that's dribbling, which is good for a cam. Obviously, he's a, a centre midfielder, and I've changed him to a cam, but you can buy him as a default cam for around 1.7k, which is looking what he goes for. He goes for, like, 1, 2k, something like that. But anyway, on to the two strikers, and this is the reason I built the team. First of all, not De Jong. <laughs> not De Jong, it's April Fools, but it's not going to be De Jong up front. We've got uh, Bale and Sanchez, striker position change cards. Now, these guys are incredible on the wing, as I'm sure you're well aware. And as strikers, I really wanted to try them out. So I thought, you know what, I'll build a hybrid around these two. Bale cost me 283k. I'm not sure how much he goes for now. All right, I've lost a bit of coins on him. He goes for roughly about 250k. I'll probably sell him after this because I'll probably keep going down in price purely because team of the season's just around the corner. Alexis Sanchez, I think I bought him for 80 something k. He goes for roughly 80 to 85k. No, I bought him for 99. So I've lost coins on both of these players but I'm not really bothered I wanted to try the team out and it looks incredible I'll tell you if it is in the highlights this team definitely matched my expectations and it is fantastic it is unbelievable 
Bale and Sanchez, I'm really, really glad I tried their position changes in the same team. Having Ramsey available as well is perfect because Chile and Wales are hard nationalities to hybridise. So having an Arsenal player who is Welsh to link Bale and Sanchez is perfect. And I think Ramsey plays a lot better as a cam. Although I haven't really played him as a centre mid too much, I feel like he'd be wasted there because he, he wouldn't be involved in the attacks as much as he is in this team. And it's perfect, it really is. The centre midfield, although the stats aren't great defensively, um, you've got 66 defence for Cruz, 76 for Schweinsteiger and 70 for Diaz Toure. They're all strong players and that that makes up for their lack of defending stats. They are fantastic and they stay back as well. Well, Yaya Toure pushes up a bit for, further forward than Cruz and Schweinsteiger, but it works and it gives the team an extra dynamic. The defence, utterly fantastic. No problems with it whatsoever. Fantastic goalkeeper, solid, cheap Alba, Boateng, Otamendi, Zabaleta, I love them all and they work together. It's very, very good. Alba pushes forward like I thought he would. Zabaleta stays back a bit more. Otamendi and Boateng, the one slight issue is that they do both push forward quite a bit. So it leaves gaps in the midfield and because Schweinsteiger's got a lack of pace, sometimes it becomes a little bit of an issue. But overall, you're not going to get too many players that are better and this team is very, very well-rounded for the price. It'll keep going down for team of the season, so I recommend putting it off until team of the season when you can get these players for really, really cheap, and it probably will go down to somewhere around 300k, I would say. So hopefully you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video, and yeah, peace.